Stevie J sought to balance things out with Mimi Faust while he still has some serious fleeing going on with Jocelyn. Now, it appeared as though Mimi would fall for Stevie J's sweet words, but Jocelyn entered and she dropped an iconic line that had lasted for ages. Now, when you look at me, when you talk to me, when you smile at me, it's like real blank space with us right now. These days? Decent. Decent? Yeah. Take Jocelyn out of the house. The three of us have been spending more time together. Crayons, get some of Eva's crayons. <laughs> Fill it in. Fill in it. If Stevie thinks he's gonna add some color to our relationship. Yeah, everything is easy as whoa, we whoa, make whoa, it. Whoa, green works? Yeah. What does that mean? He's in Never Never Land. And the money will not fix what I have a problem with with you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You believe that money fixes everything and it does not. Knowing me and knowing me as long as you have should know exactly what to what? do until you turn bags. Bag Blue me. bags. I ain't seen one yet. You put the block up. Why do I do that? Security. I mean, yeah, of being, can I just finish what I was gonna say? Of being hurt again, you know what I'm saying? Oh, she got the hit around here. It's hot in the Yeah. Like, what's up? Let's go to the studio. She got to clean. Get the That's out what, here. Ain't that what you're clean with? Speak. Hey, May. I see you got on your May eye for like you always do. Me, when she thinks she put me out of the house, bitch, you ain't put me out of the house. I put myself out of the house. Where you go? Take that to the moon, but you can get it the fuck out my face. Both of you mother get the fuck out of the house. I gotta get some shoes. You I can't get those. Slut ass bitch, I'll throw you some shoes downstairs. Be nice, Mimi. Get more bees with honey. It's all bull. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like you just barging in the joint. Now I feel like I'm Molly the maid and I gotta clean it. Defending me, defending his daughter, his family. He didn't do tip to get the bitch out of the house. Or maybe you don't see this disrespect. You buying bitches first? Listen, That's what you're doing? She working. Right. You gotta work and burn her ass and prostitute. You want me to be satisfied? She's not a yeah, she is. The bitch is a whore. When she was her age, aggressive. Gonna get it by any means necessary. Maid, you gonna say the bitch is joking? <laughs> hey, you know, this bitch wanna call me a maid and everything else, and you not gonna say? It was a joke. She gonna tell me that bitch is joking? You joking? Get the out of here. Shakina, trying to help her friend Erica Mina, got her divorce finalized. Devised a unique plan by going upstage to call Safari out. Now, everybody was surprised, including Safari, who had to run for his life. Now, Shakina chased him down till he signed. Shakina's deed got Erica Mina interested, but her hopes were quickly bashed. Safari! Safari! Safari. You wanna be on stage, you wanna be in the spotlight, TikToking and dancing. He hasn't been being a good father. He hasn't been being a good husband. Dance, Don't forget, you kinda already grabbed the mic at my Grass the Noir fashion show. Get your mic. Get Safari. I'm stupid. So whatever you try to do with your little circus act, huh? You gonna have to come where I'm at. Hold my phone. Hold my phone now. Safari, Erica wants to be a free woman. You gotta sign the paperwork. Being her feeling down and out when she's a beautiful ass woman who can any man with me. I've been putting him in my purse. Come on inside. I seen she had these divorce papers on the counter. Whoa. Did Shakana really just serve Safari with your divorce papers? Yes. Right? Whether he signs the paperwork Oh, it's or gonna not. happen. He's all I want is to be set free. I deserve a new life. Thank you, Shakana. Carly Red and Jocelyn had been friends for a long time. Such a long time that Carly's messy self was the one who told Mimi about Jocelyn like she was a proud friend. Jocelyn heard her dirty secrets on Carly Red, and with Carly's reputation, there's so much to wonder about how she lived and who she really was. So tensed up because we're supposed to be friends. I genuinely give a about you. Sing amazing. I got the new video coming out of church. I was thinking about inviting you to the release party of the video. She's sitting there sipping her drink, acting like she don't remember how she hurt me. Really? supposed to be friends and you feel like you're my friend and you really care for me. I just want to have a real conversation. I really give a about you. Yeah, I believe that. You sure? Yeah. I don't believe you. I know you talk about me. I got something for you. I'd throw shade in your name and I'd be like, no, don't come for my friend. That's my friend. Genuinely. Now with Tommy the other day, she telling me how a lot of the ladies feel about me. To, um, 
to do a little digging. I don't have nothing against Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. I love that girl to death. But she turned on me. Bigger person a lot of times, mm -hmm. but sometimes you gotta get your $200 manicure. Nothing. Not one, one thing. <laughs> Are you okay? Turn <laughs> on the blogs. This information right here. This? this information right here. This information So I gave you an upper invitation to keep my name out of your mouth, and when they gossiping about me, stay away from me. This bitch has gotta treat me with respect. If not, you're gonna have a bad day coming your way. I name again to one of them hoes. When the people is going after me, I have to go after them. And I think that's some real dirt on them too. You are bringing an envelope to blackmail B. Okay, cool. After I supported you. Thanks. Thanks. I don't give what to you about nothing. I don't want you to feel like I'm being an even from the heart. But you have to understand that I have to do what I have to do to make sure that I'm secure too. You don't give a then conjure up these evil thoughts in your head. I am not an evil person. I give a about you genuinely. I don't, I don't even know what to say. He's trying to be up here whooping your ass. The only thing that I'm telling you is not to for me. So. It was Sierra's daughter's birthday, and like all their events, all of her friends were present. Now, BK also showed up, and he brought gifts with him. Now, unknown to Sierra, BK had a lot up his sleeve, and he decided to give Sierra as well. Now, Sierra's reaction to what BK gave her is what you should see, and the drama that ensued afterwards was priceless. Hey, 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 hey. Paris. Look at it. Huh? What is it about? Two carrots. Thank oh you. Oh, my God. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Hey, it's a great gift. I hope this is not no gift. The thinking that you about to be giving me some gift. Take it. I come yeah. bearing gifts. Open it. A condom? Yeah, keep going. Wow. Little girl's 15th birthday party, and BK is pulling out condom. The mud. So I think it's about time that the world know who Miss Gates the gift. What? No, because look, it's this, already could... starting off with bull look, What is this? It's gift. Hey, you. You being funny, Ramil. And this is the reason why this your ass I your passwords. And look what I found here. She's been inviting guys to come play. Dog, well, look at you. All the you were with. You miss me? I'm planning to get Sierra back, but not the way she's. Oh, oh my God, he printed out her. Like you don't miss this. Don't. Shut your ass down. No, why the you print my phone? I gave you two, gave you two, gave you two condoms, so this you need it. This is not about playing with me. I just be trying to make sure that I'm not out here looking crazy. You're you not like it's up, but you gonna bring some up numbers up here and drop that out. Dub and DM somebody or text somebody. I'm not doing nothing. Now, Spice and Carly had a huge falling out in the Bahamas where Spice had to even seek the Lord's mercy against their anger. The ladies got around to discuss it on another trip, and it raised the question of who should take responsibility for what happened. Spice was super serious about Carly Red being a terrible friend. Just gonna say it straight No, yeah, up. go ahead. It's that it got physical, you know what I'm saying? So it when didn't it get physical. No, no, we had like, what the hell just happened? I'm gonna be in the field. Me, mother I didn't even touch Carly in the Bahamas. I approached her to have a conversation to her face. What, where y'all get outside this for play a victim? Like, why are you doing this? Even Zell coming up to me, oh, Carly says she's scared. Cause I wanted to attack Carly. Carly lives a step away from me, like one, two step, and she's my neighbor. Like you're holding Let's this one doctor open. Okay, so we clear that up, okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all. Guys, I talk. I know, but that's it's scaring her. That's how loving I am. Like, that's why you want to be my friend, right, Carly? Scared, why are you scared? Why, why is Carly saying? She's scared. Try to act like I'm this bad person. I'm this bully. Oh, I'm so scared. You're trying to paint me like Guys, a bully. Not... Is she hey, scared hey, hey, of hey, Sierra? Hey. Sierra buck. Folk, and then when I lash out, see, they're like, oh, see? See, she angry. Sierra's definitely took accountability for her actions, and she's never come for me like that ever since. The yelling. Oh, man, trying to paint me like a bully all the We're time. We're not painting, painting you. you. Deflecting to go into Sierra about me and Sierra's beef. See me as a bully all the time. You're not a bully. You did it. I'm not calling you a bully, but if you want to keep mentioning that word, that's on you. We ain't never gonna make up. No. Take this mic off of me. I'm leaving. I'm not gonna let them. I, I agree with you. I was told you. if I'm uncomfortable to leave. leave. Oh, I can. You, you can. can. You 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 can
you gotta be uncomfortable. And you're gonna have to let love, hope, faith push through. You have to stop you talking. You don't have to. I will stop You talking. should not. Harsh places are male dominated business, so I had to be like that man figure. And so aggressive and so quick to fight back and quick to lash out, because that's all I know. Try it one more time. No, I don't think no. she should. I think she Why should am I keep begging for a friendship? Yeah. What? No, sorry, I offended you. I'm taking accountability for everything. I, I, I apologize. At this point, I know everybody else thinking it. When is it gonna be over with? Either they're gonna be friends or leave it alone. The fight. It feels like you need closure, or like you're searching because somebody that I don't give a about no more cannot affect me At like all. this. Right, I don't want you to go. I'm going to pack. Communicate, but at this point, I don't think I'm even welcome here. Even though it's my trip and I planned it, I don't know. Just go spend, just go spend tired with down us, down. please. Can you not leave? Listen, one, one day, day. <laughs> one, one day, day. one day. Amina Butterfly has always been known to be dramatic, and she perhaps can be considered one of the most animated characters on the show because of her firm belief. Now, her relationship with Peter Guns wasn't a smooth one, but it had its beautifully intimate moments as well. One of those special intimacies resulted in a pregnancy, and Amina Butterfly kept it from Peter till the reunion show. I'm pregnant on purpose, Amina? Well, no, you don't get pregnant on purpose. It takes two people to get pregnant. You get I are pregnant. very close. There's nothing even at this point that goes on with my body that he's not the first person to know. Hiding it for a long time, definitely on purpose. Part of me having the abortion was Peter. If you knew then, that Tara Lies. was pregnant, would you have still gone through with the abortion? Because he doesn't want any more kids, and I was considering that. All the way comfortable for me either. I mean, you were very upset when he brought up the vasectomy. How did it feel knowing that Tara is going to be the last person to have one of Peter's children? The, the thing is, once she made that decision, I agree with, you know, yeah, I, I, I rock with you on that. Especially because she's not the last person that has her, his what is, baby. Who, what does that mean? At the time, I, you know, I was upset but I, I definitely overreacted, you know. Pregnant. You're pregnant. So, oh wow, oh my goodness. Carly Red was disappointed at Rashida for bringing Erica to her event, so she called Rashida to meet her somewhere. Now Carly and Erica fell out over something nasty that Carly had done. Unsurprisingly, it's Carly Red. Now, after months of planning with Erica Dixon, Carly Red blindsided Erica and found a new partner to open a fashion store with. Carly and Rashida started their talking quietly until it morphed into something else, and soon both women was exchanging fiery shots. I asked Rashida to meet me so I could tell her exactly how I feel. I'm gonna bring Erica to my grand opening, and then she wants to clown me and side with Erica? Uh uh. I really just wanted them to talk things out. Maybe things got a little out of hand. We'll talk about this one on one. I really was f***ed up over you bringing Erica to the situation. First of all, you know, even after what happened, I still had to call you to talk about it. I called her, but if a bitch don't want to meet up with me, what am I to do? Me and Erica are friends. Right. It doesn't matter where it's at, wh what the situation is. Y'all should be bigger than that, and you should learn and not do the little but that's small petty act. By the being like that, your little thought leader with the pink hair, no, she's no. the one who tried to turn. You know what? Hey, y'all need to talk. I feel like you brought on some, hey, let's sabotage this bitch. Some like, yeah, bitch, that's right. We came to gang up on, well, we came to get your not be a hater. Come to your events and be some very supportive. Yes. Name one time you've ever done that for me. You to jump in like, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I did. You know why? Because I felt like it needed to be had, Carly. This is in my house. And it's a million dollar business in my house. I got a child too. I have a one year old. I have a child too. I have a million dollar business. And me and Rashida is friends. I guess you don't know what people really think about you. Oh. doing it and being shady about it. No style having Heffa opened up a store is actually a joke. Oh. Tom CNN been at your girl. Huh? CNN was probably at that moment. No. Like, the mess is no. here. No. And you a AARP, I'm pick up Carly. Get the f***ing car, cause you ain't It started with Shakina asking Shay how her life had been. Now, it then became a talk about whether Sierra and Tokyo loved each other. Now, Tokyo told the ladies that Sierra came to her house to tell her about starting a weight loss journey. Got together and they didn't form them a regular little workout group. Hey, y'all. Hey. Really not the way I like to work out, so I skipped their ass at that gym. So, Shay, what's been going on with Made Man and Gingy? My speed. 
was just wondering, I want my baby daddy to meet up with you. And you love my man very deeply. I do very deeply, but that ain't gonna keep picking with me. I think you ain't your bull crap. So look what I missed, niece. She came to my house trying to check me behind my lifestyle. I don't got time for Tokyo and her bull crap. I never told Tokyo she was fat. That never came out of my mouth. I told her she needs to take this weight loss journey. And I ain't eating the right and I'm fat. Because she ran out of the gym the other day when we was all working out. How you don't want to work out? Because she sat and sitting up there trying to coach me and tell me what the to do when you. I don't need your help. Go save all the rest of them hoes that, that you're friends with that don't like themselves. I don't want to hear it. I mean, it's heart diseases out here, it's cancer out here, it's all kind of stuff out here. So we have to work on being a healthier. Yeah, I've laid on the table a couple of times. Tell them how to be a size two. I want to be a two. I just said you need to be healthier. What the f I chose to cook that day? You drink, bitch, alcohol killing people. The place is so I'm available. Stop it. Stop it. No, right. she got me f up on the job. I understand that. I'm only concerned about her well being. At the cabin, the friends gathered and soon emotions took over the place. Now everybody had felt the ambience at the cabin and they all spoke about what troubled them the most. Now soon the discussion drifted to Jock and Kendra and all the obstacles their relationship had endured. Now Carly Red was one obstacle and in no time, Carly Red and Kendra soiled the evening with some beef. I saw y'all getting into it with Carly earlier. Let me go get her ass so we can get this all. But the problem is Carly. Or Jock and Kendra have their issues. At the end of the day, that's all a part of it. We all gonna go through shit. We all gonna have issues. Carly should be here to clear up the she was saying. Stuff with my mate without somebody creating that drama. You know what I'm saying? Don't bring my name up and don't bring you your up in it. miserable as oh. Where's Shekana? We was all in the car and I asked the question. I said, how long have you and Jock been dating? Like, you you're a mess. Said timeline. I said almost five. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm not gonna play no childish game. These two people from in between. Okay. Yeah. On some real. Real. After, you know, people say me. name drop. What, what, what? Chill. Especially not me. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't your mother. You got no So come back over here. Sit down. You ain't gonna let nobody trick you. The beginning start when you start. Why are you defending her? Whichever way. Wait, Jock, Jock. Come on, y'all. Come on, Jock. Come on, Jock. Y'all let me know why I'm not in a relationship again. Ray J heard of something that happened between Lyrica and Safari, so he really wanted to know the truth. Now, A1 had invited his friends over for dinner with their women, and surprisingly, Safari showed up. And it turned out that he was invited by Ray J, who had a lot of questions to ask regardless of the situation. Why am I so happy about that? Why did I hear it? With been looking at the homie. You can get over it. I'm happy it ain't one of the just wasn't sitting here waiting for us. I told Safari to come along. That's yeah. the wrong thing to do. Why would you do that? They invited us out. We're supposed to have a good time. Pay the bill. Yo! Hey! Hey, Ray! So my brother? I did. I told him to pull up because I felt like it was the right thing to do. <laughs> To sit here and lie to A1's face is really, really, really unsettled. Special guest for tonight's gathering is for the greater good. I'm really optimistic that everything will turn around. It though, so it's cool. Nope. Princess, I'm so sorry that what? I like Mr. Gender. I apologize. I have hate for us to fight. Actually, that was perfect timing. Just turn into an engagement party. <laughs> because. But to know that Lyric is pregnant, she needs to know immediately what's about to go down. Okay, now, y'all know when they come back, they... Far is showing up tonight, that's bad enough. For one of everything on the menu. Yeah. Hello. That's big, what's up? What's up? Hey, look, we, we used to be the three amigos. Yeah. We friends. Girl. Yo. And just got to let him know what you told me, fam. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Bruh. I'm listening. 
Mommy Safari told me that he had sex with Lyric. Uh, Safari was starting up a storm. Now, I didn't know it led to some possible sex. That's exactly where I need to be right now. Feel bad about it? And, like, you don't want to say it or what? Like. Hey, one. Do you do you really think I would do that? You should chill, girl. Like, get some water. Still listening. I'm quite be uncomfortable. Oh my God. Leave nothing to hide. So if Ray J wants to hold court with Safari here, what the f is going on? This rumor here is old and fake news at this point. What the f is going on? Um, no. What the. F I didn't say that. No, 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 Lyrica. Shut your f up. All of a sudden, you can't f talk to Fari. Whatever y'all all got going on, but leave me out of it. Hand off. But this time, I'm being patient. Hey, you took too long, bro. Like Y'all like think Carly Red's messy? We know the answer to that already. But this clip is one of those clips where you really could be disappointed in Carly Red so much that you forgive her already. Now the friends was gathered and it was there that Sierra revealed that Carly Red missed out on a court appointment. It was a pretty serious one for Sierra, but what do you think was Carly Red's excuse? Four years. Oh my goodness. And I was accused of assault by one of Shula's other baby mamas. To mention it at the anniversary party and a witness at court. This girl showed up to court. We had a night. She ain't coming. I don't know. We're going to have fun at the night, y'all. It definitely wasn't cool for Carly to miss Sierra's court date. Oh, no, that, that ain't cool. Y'all supposed to be friends. Yeah. Hate to see it break up their friendship. Both of these ladies, they need each other too. But with all the stuff Carly got going on with Mo and Alexis and all of that, I can see why she's distracted. For you, you and always. I'm dead serious. I love you. I'm serious. serious. No, I know. I know. Carly's hair. I can see you the whole you time. You made it. Hey. What's hey. up, Carly? You showing up for her. Now, you know I didn't know nothing that was going on with you. So, first of all, she gave me court five. Came back downstairs, ran back upstairs, and they finally told me she's in 3D. Went up her phone. She couldn't answer, of course, because she was in court. Yeah. They told me that you just didn't want to get on stand. I am getting on the stand. Okay. Appreciate it. I feel it a little bit more because right now I don't feel it. Please don't make this about you. Obviously, you're going through your yeah, and that's fine. But here's the thing. You know how many times I could go on and on and on, and I'm going to be there for you every step of the way. Okay. okay. Well, we will see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There but guess you. what? You know? I don't have her as a friend. And I said that. You're going to call me out saying I'm not a good friend. Name one time you've ever been a real friend. I am taking pictures with Stevie, everything. The same time that I'm having my event. I'm taking pictures with Stevie. Bitch, what about man say something? What about man say something? Jocelyn thought that opening up to Mimi Faust would make her straighten Stevie J, so she exposed all that she had going on with Stevie J. Now, as they was talking, Stevie J showed up, and it was not a fun sight for him to see him talking about him. Now, the funniest bit was him walking around with Jocelyn's pregnancy strip. Uh, Mimi and Stevie's just living this regular life like nothing happened. When I know that when I first met him back in December, Jocelyn, if you think I'm going to lose my cool because you tell me you're pregnant by Stevie, it's not gonna happen. I haven't been to the every which way from some fool. I know exactly what I got. Four months. Dealing with two Four months. Heart. This is him. We're pregnant and this, that. And, uh, bitch, please. We're having our conversation. She says that he's sending her text messages. Right here, texting me. See? So I said, well, tell him to come up here. Oh, there he go. What's she letting her know? Pregnant by you. That's what she said? I don't know. Who I man. The next bitch. Pregnancy test in their pocket, right in mine. I'm not arguing with you about how I the last time I come home and lay down with me. Really disgust me is you sloppy. 
in your hand. Say, don't say stupid. You got the test with your hand. You carrying a hey, don't say stupid. Switch your face. Get your hand out of my face for y'all. Get your out of my face. I got papers on you for the rest of your life. What? I seen you back to the strip club. It's supposed to be a conversation that Jocelyn and I had before Mimi even came into the picture. Bitch. Don't, don't play with me. I don't talk to you anymore. What we have is over. Bye. Why is she coming back here talking to me? Why? Don't say this or, or this is what's going to happen. I'm tired of following by your rule. I'm finished. What, you threatening me now? He told me that if it wasn't his way, I wasn't going to be in the industry. You got business for me, right? We gonna handle it when we gotta handle it. What you mean? I don't know what you mean. What I just said. I know better. So if Stevie wants to me, we just can't work together. Because every time okay. you got a I chance, do, I ain't do nothing for you. Nothing. I gave you another life. Every time something don't go your way, the first thing you say is I'm gonna take you back to the strict life. Okay, if you gave me my life, if you're gonna take it back every chance you get, I don't need you to give me no life. Like dogging bitches out, but I'm not gonna let you I do me you like up? that. Yes, you don't remember what you tell me. You never be finished talking to me. I don't want to talk to you lady, no more. You know what I'm saying? Be a lady. I don't want to talk to you no more. And watch how you speak to me, Jocelyn. You look nice, by the way.